What's up guys, and in this video, I wanna quickly go over 10 main points that I consider my success formula, my framework, 10 things that I live by each and every day that have allowed me to build a million dollar business, become an author, move up through the ranks of the state police, be a keynote motivational speaker, be a, a great father, great husband, and just all areas of my life. So the majority of the days, because I'm not gonna say I don't struggle, but the majority of days that I feel like I'm thriving in life instead of just surviving in life. And I think so often, especially today, people are just waking up, they're stressed out, they're strung out, they're going through the motions every single day, they're accepting their life for what it is instead of leading their life truly to where they want to go. So here are 10 quick points I'm gonna go through for you. The first point when it comes to success that you have to live by is personal development, self-development, self-growth. Here's the deal. The person you are right now will not get you to the goals and dreams that you want to achieve tomorrow. You have to go through a growth journey. Now, listen to me. I was resistant to this stuff early during my business time when I started building my business and I was about 10, 12 years in with the New York State Police as a state trooper. I was very resistant to reading books. I was very, very resistant to listening to positive motivational messages. I was very resistant to thinking any of that stuff can truly help me. But here's the deal. There is so much wisdom to learn from people that have succeeded in the area that you're trying to succeed in your life. Success leaves clues. So for me, it was learning to become coachable, to become teachable, and to start reading at least 10 minutes a day of a good personal development book, whether it's on leadership, whether it's on mindset, whether it's on financial success, whether it's on relationships. The thing is this, you need to grow and you can't leave it up to default, meaning you just let your life circumstances dictate how you're going to grow. That's not going to work. You have to be intentional with your personal development. Number two, guys, is you need to take ownership of your life. You cannot give power over somebody else to you to control your life every single day. When you don't take ownership of your life, when you are blaming other people or the circumstances of your life or why you're not successful, you're giving away control. You're giving power to those things, whether it's the circumstances of your life or it's people, certain people, you're letting other people's opinions affect you. You have to take ownership of your life. It's the most freeing feeling in the world. Why? Because then you come to understand, all right, if I'm going to succeed, it's on me. If I'm going to fail, it's on me. I'm not giving power over anything else over me. And it is the most freeing thing in the world. So you need to take ownership of your life. The third thing is discipline. Listen, Jocko, for those of you who know Jocko Willink, uh, prior Navy SEAL commander, has an amazing podcast. He talks about discipline equals freedom. And that is so true. You have to have self-discipline and you really need to have self-discipline on the days you don't feel like doing the things that you know you need to do because discipline is going to get you to the next level and you're going to need to have it because more times than not, there's going to be days where you're facing problems, you're dealing with struggles, whether it's personal struggles, family, relationships, spouse, whether it's work uh, troubles, whether you didn't get a lot of sleep and if you don't have discipline, you're not going to grow to help you move closer to your goals. Number four is perseverance. My favorite word in the dictionary is perseverance. Why? Because it's a never ever give up mindset. No matter matter what, it's saying you need to have grit. No matter what, you're going to face adversity and you have to keep going. John Maxwell says everything worthwhile is uphill and that is so true, but it's going to take perseverance in your life to push through no matter what. Number five, you have to have a sense of purpose. You have to have a power of intention in your life. You have to have a vision to improve your life. Listen, if you had all the money and all the time in the world, what would your life look like? What would you want to achieve? What would you have? You have to have vision and goals in your life, right? A man without a vision will perish. It's right in the Bible. I believe that because the number one source of fulfillment is progress. So if you don't have purpose in your life, if you're not moving towards something, you're going to probably have anxiety. You're going to be depressed because you're not going anywhere. You're just going through the motions in life. But you know what? There is no warm up in life. 
There is no practice in life. We only have today. So go after your goals. Go after your dreams. You need to have a sense of purpose in your life. Number six is play victim mentality. You need to play victor mentality. There are people right now in this world in much worse situations than you that are getting knocked down, that don't even have clean drinking water, and that are out there with a positive mindset, that are grateful for breath and fresh air, that are living their life to the fullest because they're seeing the good in the world. So stop playing the victim. Stop being on your soapbox day in and day out. Listen, here's a little, here's a little thing. We are going to struggle, and here's what I do. If something happens that's not good and doesn't work out for you in your life, which happens to myself, it happens to my wife, it happens to all of us, I give myself 24 hours to kind of be frustrated, be on my soapbox, but that's it. After that, I got to bounce back. You got to have victor mentality and stop playing the victim. The next one, number seven, you need to have positive relationships in your life. If everybody that you're surrounded by is full of drama, full of gossip, negativity, and is constantly not serving you for the better, you need to change who you surround yourself with, right? Birds of a feather flock together, and you are a product of your environment. And you know what? I'll tell you this. You are the average. Your income is the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Think about it. Who are the most people you spend your time with? Are they helping you to serve you to grow or are they not? Now, listen, I'm not saying you need to cut ties with your family members. But what I am saying is that maybe you need to consume more personal development from authors of books that you look up to. Maybe on social media, you need to unfollow people that aren't serving you and stop following pages that are going to inspire you to improve your life. You need to start being interactive with relationships, join community groups, join groups online. You need to have good nurturing relationships. We're all going to have negative nellies. We're all going to have people that aren't serving us. But let me tell you, you 100% control how you react and you can be intentional every day to consume those people that are going to fuel you. And you know what? Be the change you want to see. You set up the group. You set up the community. You start surrounding yourself with people that, that are going to serve you. And let me tell you, the harder the work and the more successful you become, you will start attracting that into your life because you attract who you are. You put good into the world, you'll come back and get good in the world. Think about it. If you're somebody that complains and is negative on social media all the time, you're probably full of a social media feed that's negative and people complaining because it's just going to give you more of what you're putting out. So your environment, your relationships are everything. Number eight is... You have to have good energy every single day. You know, when it, that comes from your health, your fitness, your your spiritual, you know, energy. Meaning, every single day, are you exercising? Are you taking care of your body, which is going to produce more energy for you throughout the day? Are you staying in shape? Are you eating healthy foods that are going to fuel your body? Are you eating sugary? garbage all the time what about your spiritual relationship whatever you believe in i'm a big person you know with my faith with god and my religion as a as a catholic it's important to me every single day that i have that relationship because i know i cannot do this alone and for me god is my best is my best teammate a teammate if he is with me who can be against me right so do you have good spiritual energy do you have good health mental and physical it all comes down to you have to have good energy and set yourself up for success the next one guys is sleep listen i am an early riser i, I believe in the morning routine a powerful morning routine sets you up for success for the day but i'm not getting up at 5 a.m or 4 4 30 a.m or 5 30 a.m to go work out if i'm going to bed at 11 12 o'clock at night right and most of you that are staying up at 10 30 11 11 30 at night you're either scrolling social media or you're watching television and that's not serving you to help you grow i'm all about having time to decompress but maybe you need to adjust your schedule so you're in bed by 9 30. for me going to bed at 9 30 and getting up at 5 a.m i'm getting basically seven hours of sleep and that for me is ideal you need to have good sleep because if you don't have good sleep it's going to affect your mood your energy throughout the day and number 10 guys is you need to have downtime in your life you can't be working and grinding 24 7 365 for me the majority of the weekends and especially sunday is downtime it's the day of rest it's the day to refuel it's the day to be with my family it's the day to focus on going to my kids activities and sport games and not doing work every single day so you can't be grinding seven days a week trust me when i tell you sometimes you need to slow down to speed up and by taking that time off you will be better prepared throughout the day so guys again personal development taking ownership in your life having discipline having perseverance having purpose in your life 
not playing victim, playing victor mentality, positive relationships, having good energy in your life, good sleep, and last but not least, you need to have downtime. Guys, if this was of value to you, please give a thumbs up in the video. Comment below and please sub sub subscribe and select all to subscribe to my channel so you get notifications of any videos because my goal every single day is to help you to live up to your fullest potential. So I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.